you've seen the time loop premise work well for comedies, horror, or really anything. But it turns out, when you try to Groundhog Day an action flick, that usually kicks ass too. Reload. Edge of Tomorrow. Before Chris McQuarrie made it his lifelong goal to kill Tom Cruise on the job, Doug Liman made a half-assed go of it in Edge of Tomorrow, the ultimate movie for people who love Tom Cruise or hate Tom Cruise. I think I broke something. Oh, hold on, hold on, listen. I can still feel my toe. Okay, do it. And this underrated gem that goes by Lived I Repeat on DVD, but is actually based on the Japanese manga, All You Need Is Kill. Come on, movie. You've got mech suits, buster swords, and a tentacle monster. Embrace your anime ass self. Now all you need is a mad scientist who's there to do the exposition and give you the heroes magic MacGuffin they can use to- You stick it into the alpha and it taps into the wavelength connecting it to the omega- Ah, so does Ney. Tom Cruise is William Cage, a member of the Army's elite corporate fluff brigade. Lost my advertising firm. Here I am. He's facing every American's worst nightmare, waking up somewhere unfamiliar and everyone is talking European. But when his face gets melted with alien time goo, he'll be stuck reloading from the same safe state over and over again. Watch as he gets a little bit better every time at avoiding work. Three, two, four, four, five, five. Pitching his life story to strangers. The longer I talk, the more rational it's going to appear. The longer I talk, the more rational it's going to appear. And most crucially, spitting game at Emily Blunt. Thank you. Ah, hold on, three, like three. Ah, oh, so close. Okay, one more loop. She's playing Rita Vertaski, a strong woman. So even if she saves the world, anonymous dudes are gonna call her a b Yeah, what has she done for us lately? Thrill at this amazing character who gets zero backstory except for her middle name. Tell me your middle name. Hey. Until the moment of vulnerability where we learn the hidden truth. Her real middle name. <gasps> but honestly, who cares? Emily Blunt push-up yoga plus a big sword? Shoot me in the face, mommy. Just wait, wait. I think I'm okay. <laughs> it's funny because her day doesn't reset. She's going to prison. Enlist in humanity's war against the mimic gimmick. Aliens who prove those flying spaghetti monster nerds were right all along. We'll throw everything we've got at these hentai parodies of Michael Bay's Transformers. Except for using nukes, missiles, artillery, tanks, jets, or non-Europeans. Instead, relying on crappy mech suits with confusing controls. <laughs> that run out of batteries in less than a day. Fall apart the moment you hit the ground. Glitch out on the battlefield and sink like a stone in water. Okay, who got the government contract for these death traps? Tesla? All right. Thank you. <laughs> so get ready for an action thriller that skips right to the good parts, using its time loop premise as a narrative fast forward button. What next, a little uh, PT? PT, 10 minutes. Because this is a training montage disguised as a movie, where Cage goes from regular schlub to super soldier, faster than a sitcom actor joining the MCU. I'm not even trained for combat. What's next? Straight shot. And even gets to plant all of his elaborate heists off screen. This guy with the yellow armband always recognizes you, so just keep your head down and stay to my right. But to be fair, if you don't have Ryan Reynolds quipping your ear off the whole time, these things do go a lot faster. Check, check. Roger, Dodger. What's your 20 free bird? You don't have to do that. I'm standing right next to you. Now, if Cajun Rita can somehow nail 24 hours of chunky robot choreo. Hold! Okay, go! They'll blow up the mimic brain and go back two days earlier because, because, uh, did I miss the loop that explains the ending? No? Well, whatever. We win! Starring Tom and Tom again. Damn, this blunt hits hard. Mmm, forbidden ramen. 
That's it, man. Day over, man. Day over. My Tom can beat up your Tom. Bad Cheese of Inish Sharon, The Expendables, and Tom Cruise when he dreams about going to therapy. Alien War, any percent speed run, new world record. No, wait, let's see, uh, live, die, rename. Starship loopers, or how about saving private dying? Wait, wait, nope, groundhog slay. Your name is Nance, you're Bibble, Kibble, Kimmel, Ford, Skinner, Griff. This is only his second time through the day and he remembers everyone's name? That's the most impressive feat in the whole film. Hey, screen junkies, Tom Cruise dies thousands of times in this movie, but spits in the face of death in Mission Impossible. We clock the stats on all the MI missions, betrayals, kills, Ving Rhames in a van scenes, and much more in a brand new episode of By the Numbers. Click the box on the right to watch now. I fart, therefore I am. Next time, Gadget, next time. Ah, yes, Mad Cat. <laughs> Joe, you're going to be a dad. You are the father.